All right, hey guys. Well, if you're a Hearts fan, there's a wee bit of good news for a change. Ian Carfro has been sacked as head uh, head coach, head manager, whatever the fuck his title was at Hearts, and uh, he's no longer the man in charge now. So, with only four days to go until we play Celtic, we're now managerless. I mean, I totally agree with the decision. Ian Carfro was definitely, I'm not going to say he was underperforming. He was just complete utter pish. And um, I think it's been a race between him and Pedro to see who would get fired first. And it uh, looks like Cafro has uh, won this race. Um, I don't agree with I don't agree with the time of the sack. And I mean, surely the like what's changed? All right, I know. All right, the Betfred Cup we got knocked out of that. That was really embarrassing. But at the end of the day, I think we already knew he was pretty shite before we got knocked out of the Betfred Cup. His form in the league last year was dreadful, and. Uh, Alright, alright, Cap, whatever you say. Uh, don't mind Surrey, it's just in the background. He agrees, Cafro out, Cafro out. Um, yeah, so, as I was saying, like, his form in the league last year was atrocious, right? We may have finished fifth, but he undone all the good work that Robbie Nielsen had made over the past, you know, few years, and it's very disappointing. Like, when he took over last year, I'm pretty sure we were second in the league, or with a game in hand to go second, and then we end up finishing fifth, and, like, it's not like we just finished fifth and there wasn't much points in it. We, we think we like ended up finishing about 30 odd points behind Aberdeen if I remember correctly. Just really, really dreadful stuff. So I think Cafro should have been sacked at the end of the season. I will give him credit for his signings in, te in terms of uh, Lafferty and Crystal Berra. I mean, Lafferty's been great for us so far and Berra scored a goal as well. Albeit, it has been in the Betfred Cup. We'll have to kind of wait and see how Kyle Lafferty gets on in the uh, Scottish Premier League before we, you know, give our final verdict on whether he's going to be a good sign or not. But, I mean, I think bringing on those two players is the only good thing he's really done at his career in Hearts. He did get a 4-1 win against Rangers. It was a great result, but it was like weeks after he took over for uh, Robbie Nielsen. So you could, basically, you could argue that, you know, he hadn't really settled in yet and the team were still kind of, you know, playing under Robbie Nielsen. But after that 4-1 defeat of Rangers, it was just pure downhill for there. And I can't really remember any um, happy moments since then. We got knocked out of the cup by Hibs. Um, we just fell further and further down the league. We didn't even get fourth, which is embarrassing. St Johnston weren't really a threat to us when Nielsen was there. And then Caffer comes over. And before you know it, we were actually quite lucky to get top six. We were, we were asked how bad we were getting. So, um, yeah, I mean, he took over. We were in a battle for second. We're in the cup. He takes over. We're no longer in the battle for second. We don't even finish in a Europa League place in fourth. And we get knocked out by our, you know, fierce rivals, Hibs. So, very disappointing spell we've had, on, had under Cafro. But he is gone now. Doesn't necessarily mean we're going to get someone better. Although, you could argue there may not be many worse choices we could get. So, who's going to come in? Who, who would take the job? Um, I think maybe... What about Alex McLeish? Would he be interested? I don't know. I'm trying to think who who else who who's out there? Who's like a decently known name like that has a bit of star power that we could realistically get? Or will Craig Lefine just take over? If that's the last thing I fucking want, we're gonna come up against fucking Air United in the cup and he's gonna play a four six zero, you know what I mean? Like fuck that. So I, I don't know who we're gonna get. Hopefully we can get someone good and I hope I hope he's Scottish. If not Scottish, British. I don't know why I get another one of these fucking foreign managers. You look at all these foreign managers in Scottish football and they've all done pretty shite. I mean, name me a good one apart from Dick Advocat. Name me a good Scottish name me a good Scottish manager that, that did well apart from Advocat. That he's like the only guy, so you know. It is what it is, guys. But anyway, until then, Ian Cathro is gone. Praise the Lord, but the timing of this sack is all wrong. He should have been should have been done at the end of last season, although you could argue that if he was sacked, maybe we wouldn't have got Lafferty and Berra. So it could be a good thing, guys. I'm going to make a match preview later in the week for the game against Celtic. Also, probably make a match preview for Celtic's match tonight against Rosenberg Champions League and then Aberdeen's match tomorrow in, in the Europa League. Um, might make a video on this fucking scum Celtic fans that were, you know, chat mocking Lee Rigby's death. I mean, that's fucking disgusting. Big fan of Scottish football. I love my country, and I try. I'd honestly do. I try to be, uh, you know, supportive of all Scottish teams in Europe. But when you the, the way Celtic, the way the old firm get on, but I, I think Celtic are worse than Rangers. But we'll, we'll just concentrate on Celtic right now. The way the Celtic fans get on, the way the club gets on sometimes. 
you know, burning the poppies and their support for fucking Palestine and IRA, terrorism, fucking terrorism lovers, it, it does really put you off, you know, wanting them to do well. I do want them to do well, but then things like that happen, you, you do, you feel dirty for fucking cheering for them in Europe and shit, so, I mean... I would like them to get through the night for the Scottish coefficient, but at the same time, you know, if Rosenberg fucking win the night, I'm, I'm not pissed off with that Lee Rigby thing and attacking Tommy Robinson, well, you know, they can go fuck themselves, I don't know. But anyway, guys, that is it. Ian Caffrey's gone. Praise the Lord. Until next time, peace.